In Ireland, it is estimated that there are more than 12,000 lakes. Ranging in size from small ponds to vast expanses of water such as Loch Carb, our lakes provide homes for a wide variety of fish species. Fish like the char are extremely rare both here and across the world. Other species, such as the Killarney Shad and Pollen, are unique to Ireland and are found nowhere else. Because many lakes are separate from other systems, the species within them have been isolated from other populations of the same species, sometimes for thousands of years. So, while the species may be common in Ireland or elsewhere, individual lakes can hold very distinct and important subpopulations. Species such as brown trout, pike and bream are also valued by anglers who enjoy fishing for the preferred species in Ireland's wild landscapes. The conservation of our fish species requires that we understand the fish that live in our waters and the factors which impact upon them. In Inland Fisheries Ireland, we use nets to survey fish stocks and to provide information for fisheries management and conservation purposes. The NRSP team, along with locally based colleagues, conduct surveys on approximately 110 of our lakes, usually on rolling three or six year intervals. We survey lakes which hold populations of rare and threatened species and also lakes which are important brown trout or coarse fish angling locations. The sampling season goes from mid-June until the end of September, when fish are normally spread throughout the lake. We use similar methods to our counterparts across Europe, and the numbers and variety of fish species also provide an insight into the ecological health of lakes and their catchments. The results from our surveys are also used to assess the quality of lakes for the Water Framework Directive. We use several types of net to sample as many of the different species found as possible. Our standard survey nets are designed to capture fish of all different sizes. This allows researchers to get an idea of the overall population structure of each species. We select net locations randomly and nets are normally set on the lake bottom across a range of depth zones, from very shallow weedy bays down to the deepest section of the lake. This ensures that all habitat areas are surveyed. Our standard nets are complemented with a smaller number of larger mesh nets. These target the bigger fish typically prized by anglers. In the deeper lakes, we also use surface and pelagic nets to sample species which normally live in open water lake habitats. Thike nets, which act like traps, are used to sample eels. Unfortunately, populations of this species are declining in Ireland and Europe. Nets are typically set in the afternoon and recovered early the next morning. While we try to release as many fish as possible, fish that have not survived are brought to the shore and their laboratory for further analysis. We can also use sonar or hydroacoustics to remotely sample fish stocks. It is now even possible to identify what species, but not the size or makeup of populations, by looking at fish DNA found in small samples of water. On shore, the fish's length and weight are recorded. We also take scale samples from many of the fish that we catch. Scales, which grow like the rings of a tree, can be used to estimate the age of the fish. For other species, such as char and perch, we can remove other bony structures that we use to estimate the fish's age. Don't let the video fool you. While a drone is restricted to fair weather, this work is carried out in all conditions. We like to think of it as character building.